So the stem cell project that we've recently completed uh, was undertaken to address a very common clinical problem in patients with diabetes, that of uh, foot ulceration. So foot ulceration frequently results in amputation and patients with diabetes um, undergo an amputation every 20 seconds uh, somewhere in the world. Uh, so every minute, three people, every hour, 180 people, every day, close to 3,000 people will have an amputation somewhere in the world due to diabetes. So we've been interested in trying to develop approaches that would improve wound healing and therefore try and avoid the need for amputation because amputation has a major impact on the quality of life in patients with diabetes. So we've got a stem cell research program funded um, in NUI Galway uh, through Science Foundation Ireland and we have one specific adult stem cell which we're interested in which is derived from bone marrow and the research that we've just completed um, utilized that stem cell and applied it to a preclinical model of diabetic ulceration and what we showed essentially in work done by Angus O'Loughlin um, who's a diabetes trainee here in Galway and funded by Molecular Medicine Ireland. He showed that the application of this type of stem cell to the surface of the wound enhances healing. And, and this preclinical work essentially will pave the way uh, for a clinical study. Um, and the natural path from uh, preclinical or laboratory research is into doing what's called first in man or phase one human studies. So this data uh, will allow us approach the regulatory authorities with an application uh, to move into a, a first in uh, human study. So Remedy is, is an applied stem cell research program and with extensive funding from government and from the health service we've developed the infrastructure uh, to translate laboratory findings in stem cell biology through to new clinical products, new treatments for patients. And within our group we have uh, a number of different individuals who are focusing on different diseases, uh, each of which represents an unmet medical need. So I'm personally interested in diabetes and the complications of diabetes and the use of stem cells to treat these patients. So I myself am interested in the use of these stem cells to treat diabetes and its complications, which is one of the most common conditions in, in the world and increasing year on year in its, in its prevalence. And then we have additional principal investigators at Remedy who are interested in uh, developing stem cell treatments for other conditions uh, which are currently um, not well treated, uh, including um, arthritis, uh, inflammatory bowel disease, uh, corneal transplantation, um, and coronary artery disease uh, resulting in conditions like heart attacks. Uh, so within Remedy, therefore, we have a basic research program in, uh, which is attempting to understand the biology of these stem cells. And then we have a translational program uh, which utilizes a facility specially constructed to grow stem cells for human administration and also a very close linkage with the hospital um, and the clinical research facility funded by the Health Research Board uh, in which we will eventually undertake these first in human studies.